So here it finally is, the new Ferrari supercar project. I'm starting off with organizing all the parts, cutting them out the sprues, and putting them in my storage box. Whenever I start a new project, I look through the manual very carefully to see which parts can be glued together before painting. So as usual, I found that the engine can be glued together for about 90%. So that's what I'm doing right now, cleaning up all the engine parts and gluing them together. To glue these parts together, I'm using Revell contact glue. This is just standard Revell glue that you can get at any Revell kit supplier or any standard hobby shop or anything that sells hobby kits or stuff like that. The glue is very good for unpainted parts. If you are going to glue painted parts, make sure you remove the paint from the parts where you want to glue it so that the glue sticks better. This glue works as uh, it eats the plastic a little bit, so it melts it together and makes sure of a really tight bond that won't even uh, come loose with a lot of pulling. You'll probably break, break the part before you uh, pull it apart. Also, one very important tip for this glue, don't use it on clear parts, as it will eat the clear parts and it will ruin them and make the bill look unrealistic. It gives sort of uh, hazing, fogging over the clear parts and they don't look good after it and it's not fixable. Now on the body there were two pretty big molded in pieces, I guess this is to spread the plastic better inside of the molds and to keep it a bit rigid inside of the boxes uh, when they're shipping it and moving it and stuff like that. So those need to be cut out, 
I put a saw blade in my X-Acto knife. These are from Skill Motorsports. They work very well, very sharp, and they come in handy a lot of times. Now on the body there were lots of parts that needed to be glued in, really big parts on the side. Just cleaning them up a bit and gluing them in with the same contact glue I used earlier on for the engine parts. You can see me use a lot of this glue on the inside as well. This is to make sure that there is a tight bond between the body and the side pieces. And also this glue can be used as a filler. As I mentioned earlier, it melts the plastic together. So when you put an excessive amount on it, like I'm doing right here, it fills the gap, melts the plastic, ensures a tight bond, and it's really sandable after about 24 hours, I'd say. And you can even use this as small spot repair, spot, small spot putty or something like that. Uh, I'm not using this as a finishing putty, uh, I'm using this as a base putty. So when I sanded this down, I gave it an extra layer of putty later on, but that will be for another video. All the parts I have glued in right now are supposed to be there before you paint the body. They're supposed to be the same body color and they leave seams. So if you do it before you paint them, you can fill those seams and make it look like the real car. The real car does not have those seams there, but I guess this was for the molding purposes to make the molds a little bit more cheap instead of the Tamiya ones that are pretty expensive and have opening doors. Also gluing in the front bumper, there was a bit of plastic in here that uh, disabled me from gluing in the bumper correctly, so I uh, just got that out, filled it up with some glue, put the bumper on, added some extra glue to ensure a tight bond between the body and the bumper, and that's basically it for this one. Well, that's part one. Check out my Facebook for status updates and in-between photos, questions or suggestions. Post a comment or shoot me an email. And as always, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys next time.